everyone, this is Stephanie from My Porch Prints and today we're going to be making another page pocket. This is page pocket number three and if you've seen the first two you'll know that these are just some um, folio pieces that you can insert into your junk journal and they come with these pockets and these cute little ephemera pieces. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I went ahead and printed out all of the pieces from the kit on cardstock, and most of them just print um, one-sided so you don't have to print anything on the back. And then some of them have an option to print on the back if you want to, so that the black or the back won't be just plain white, um, but that's up to you. And then um, there are three pieces where you will need to print on the back, and that is these file flips. So I printed them on cardstock, and then I ran them back through the printer, and I printed the printable papers on the back. And that's just so the back of these won't be white. So we're gonna go ahead and cut all of these out and we'll get started putting this together. Okay, so we have our pieces all printed and cut out and now we're gonna go ahead and assemble them. And I went ahead and just wrote on each one what it is. So this is panel A, this is panel D, and that way I can just keep it straight while I'm showing you this uh, project. So. First of all, we're gonna take panel A, and that's the one with the tab. And you wanna head, um, you wanna go ahead and just fold it. And I scored mine to make it easier to fold. And you'll wanna bend it back and forth, and probably crease it a few times just to make sure that it's going to work in the final project. And I'm sorry if my voice is a little raspy. Again, I'm still recovering from COVID. Apparently, it takes a long time. <laughs> But um, anyway, so we'll take panel A and then you can choose any one of the other panels um, to put next to it. I'm just going to use the next one, which um, this one's panel D. And we're going to just glue it on here. And I'm using Fabri-Tac, but you can use whatever works best for your project. The reason I like Fabri-Tac is because it dries really quickly and it's not a water-based glue, so it doesn't wrinkle my pages as much as a water-based glue might. And you wanna make sure this folds. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip this over and add the other two panels. And the thing you wanna be careful about is um, they can be just slightly large um, when you get your fold done. And so you may need to trim just a little bit of it off. And then the other thing, let me grab my ink. Here we go. Is you may want to ink this white fold because it could show um, when you're finished here. And this will just keep this white part from being, you know, glaringly white. And I'm just using um, vintage photo, but you can use whatever you've got that works for you. And then that way, when these are on here, you won't see this like white line up the middle. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue these on. If you want to, you could glue just the top, side, and bottom and leave kind of like, you know, a little pocket right here if you want, but I'm not going to do that. And again, don't worry if there's a little bit of white um, right here when you're done. You can ink that or you can trim it off if you want to but we need to leave room to fold this. And same thing on the other side. Okay, and then you can kind of decide if you want this to be the inside or if you want it to be, you know, the front cover. That's really up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and I think make it the inside. And now we're gonna locate our file flips and those are these um, pieces with the little um, kind of file folder look and the little tab on them. And I, these printed front and back, so I put them through the printer and then I flipped them over and printed the printable papers on the back. And you can decide what order you want these to go in. I'm just gonna kind of go, you know, one, two, three here. And um, what we're gonna do is we're going to locate this panel pocket, this slanted one, and that's going to kind of hide the tabs for these. And then these are going to go right here, just like this. So just going in order, I'm gonna start with the back one and I'm going to glue it over here. And you can decide kind of where you want these on your page, if you want them in the middle or at the bottom. I'm gonna to try to kind of go in the middle here, I think. 
And again, just make sure you get them on this fold. Just like that. And then grab the next one and same thing. Just put glue on top of this guy. And these will be a little bit thick right here. If you wanted to alleviate that, you could glue one of them behind um, this panel before you glue it on, if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this. And then this pocket will kind of hide those. And again, it'll be just a little bit thick right here. Not a big problem. So for this pocket, we wanna glue along the long side and the bottom. And that's it. Bottom, long side. All right, and so we've got this small panel pocket and it goes on this small panel here. And again, you may need to trim just a little bit of the pocket off if it's um, not fitting in the fold, but I think, I think this is going to fit fine. So glue the sides and the bottom of this small panel pocket. And stay as close to the edge as you can. Okay, and now we can add some of our other panel pockets. Um, let's go ahead and just flip this over. We'll start on this side and this will be your front cover. So you'll want to consider what you want that to look like. Um, and you can mix and match these however you want. I think I'm going to do this. So you're going to layer the um, large pocket on the back and then the small one on top of that. And again, we're just gonna glue the sides and the bottom to create the pockets. And these pockets were designed to be just slightly smaller than this page, um, but I did trim a little bit off of this one, so these might be a little bit big. I might have to trim them up a little. So just kind of do what you need to to make it fit. It's not always perfect and exact because, you know, everybody cuts differently. If you cut a little bit extra off one piece or something, it might not fit quite right. You just got to work with it a little, but it should all come together pretty easily. And this will not want to fold because it's going to be really thick. So you'll have to make sure that you um, kind of work with it a little bit to get it to fold down correctly. There we go. It's got all these kind of thick pieces in here and we're about to fill it with even more. There we go. So then this pocket goes on this last large panel. And if you want to make this so it's not quite as thick, you could print the pockets on paper. Um, that might help so that there's not quite so much, uh, you know, card stock, which kind of thickens this up. But when you're done, it's going to be kind of like a little book. All right, and then the last set of pockets go on these flips. And what we have are, um, these are identical, the cards and the pockets. And so the pockets are the larger ones and the cards are the smaller ones. And you can choose which pocket you want to go on this front flip. Um, I think, I think I like, like one of these maybe. And what we're going to do is just glue the um, top and this side and the bottom, and that's gonna leave room to um, put the cards in to our pocket. And you can do that as many times as you want. You can do it on the front and the back of every one. Um, I've got enough pockets for that, but I think I'm just going to do it on the front. So I'm just gonna choose the ones that I want to use. These three. But again, you can do it on the front and the back if you want, but I'm gonna try to save myself from thickening up this journal. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do pockets on the, on the fronts of the flips. Okay, and now we can start adding our ephemera pieces. And um, so 
some of these are front and back and then some of them aren't. You can print printable papers on the back if you want to. And we'll just try to kind of find places where things look good. Okay, and then we've got some cards that go inside of our flip pockets. And you can use the matching card if you want to, or you can just use, you know, any of the cards that you want. I think I'll go ahead and use the matching one. And we've got these tabs that I cut out that come with the kit. And you can use these with, um, with your cards, doesn't matter which one, whatever one you like. And I'm going to attach it to the edge so that you can pull your card out easily from your pocket. And if your card's having trouble sliding in, there's a couple things you can do. One is to open up the pocket a little bit by just kind of making a little more room in here. And another one is to trim just a little bit off your card. And I think I'll do both of those. And another thing you could do is maybe round the corners on your card. I'm gonna try that as well. Yeah, that goes in a lot easier. All right, and we'll add our other cards as well. And now we can start decorating with some of our smaller pieces like our um, butterflies and our labels. And don't feel like you have to use everything that comes with the kit. It's more just there so that you can kind of choose what you want to use. Okay, and I see there's just a little bit of white showing on this back part, probably because it needs trimmed up. Um, you can cover that with Distress Ink or you can trim it up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And that should finish it. And again, this is a really thick piece, um, so it will definitely bulk up your journal. And we've got all our little pockets and little ephemera pieces. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching.